Reality Bites, proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Hello, this is Reality Bites, back at Little Weeton, beautiful little village at the Black Horse. Anthony yesterday did a sterling job cooking the signature dish, and we've got Sarah today from Scarborough Tech. Let's see how she gets on. Back at the Black Horse at Little Weeton, serving modern British food. Here's a little recap on what they do here. We started off quite simply with a bar menu in the front and this room was the occasional disco and party christening, that type of thing. But as our food developed, we realised we needed a, a better space really for people to eat. So we redecorated this room as a dining room. So it's constantly evolving really. As our reputation's growing, people are coming from a wider area. We start by thinking what's seasonal and then uh, we put our little tweaks on things if you were to ask me what kind of food we do, we've just got a new dish for Mediterranean lamb with lentil arancini. Not something you'd see on a normal pub menu, but our second chef, Phil, he's a vegetarian. He likes a lot of Indian things. It's all sorts of foods. It's just if somebody's got an idea, we'll listen to it. Vegetarian food, it's, you know, it's, it's one of those things that people find so, so worrying and so scary just because uh, where's my meat is the common question that's asked. I mean, all of India generally you know, is considered to be a largely vegetarian country and there's so many different styles and things in there and that's just one country. So I take inspiration from lots of different countries all over the world. Where we started with a simple bar menu in the bar and now we're doing fine dining. We do amazing tasting menus where that's seven courses of experimental cuisine, let's say, or a chance for the, the chefs to really let their imaginations run riot and try things a little bit different. Parmesan ice cream was not a huge success, but I liked it. Last week, Anthony did the sea bass dish with autumn ratatouille. Let's see how Sarah gets on this week, and here's a recap on how the venue do it. As in previous heats, we have two students from each college going head-to-head -head against each other, with one of them going into the semi-final against the winner from the other college. Here's a little bit about this week's competitor from Scarborough Tech, Sarah. My mum and dad have always cooked with me when we were little, so I think it's always been ingrained in my past and everything that I wanted to be a chef, and then when it came to deciding what career, it just fitted. My mum and my dad are big influences. They're always encouraging us to cook. Like I was always baking with my mum when I was little um, and my grand, she decorated wedding cakes and stuff. So I've always been a big baker. I don't think I'm the most confident person. So I think when I moved to a new college, it was just trying to get to know people and trying to find my confidence, like finding my voice so I could speak in the kitchen and stuff. I feel like I'm quite good at making pastry and uh, the dessert side, so I hope that'll put me above the competition. This competition means so much to me, I want to win it really badly. Um, I think it just means so much to so many people, especially me. 
so I'm just really excited about it. Back again, Blair. Thanks for coming. Try and keep me away. Yeah, because there's food involved. Well, you know, <laughs> anybody who think I'm a greedy thing is not. No, I just love it. I love it. And, you know, tough act to follow from yesterday. He did very well yesterday, to be fair. A couple of niggles, I think. You know, I think the panna cotta was a bit like we discussed. Yeah, um, wasn't it? But, you know, again, sea bass, difficult, difficult to cook mm. well. Mm. Uh, you know, and, it, and a fantastic mm. looking plate of food. Really colourful. Loads of flavours, flavours that I wouldn't have thought mm. would work would work mm. together because they're really strong. Mm. And yet the main dish of the day, you know, you, you'd think that the main dish, the, the fish itself, the sea bass itself, would kind of pale into, in, mm. into uh, insignificance, mm. but it didn't. Today, Sarah's going to be doing a deconstructed lemon cheesecake. Yeah, mm. so we're expecting what? Fresh on the palate, lots of, lots yeah. of zesty lemon. Mm freshness to to clear the palate after the food because you're right I mean that you know we've got we've got the we've got the harizzo mm. uh, in the main course we've got the um, uh, the pumpkin and the the funny black carrot that you told me the history of uh, you know all those <laughs> you appreciate that heritage carrot the heritage carrot mm. uh, uh, you know with really strong flavors mm. quite quite mm. strong flavors so yeah it'd be lovely to have this mm. deconstructed Lemon cheesecake is so important that we've got young chefs here throughout yeah. the series, young chefs really cooking their hearts out, mm. creating dishes that I know you've given mm. them, um, but, but putting their own spin on it because they're not told how no. to present it, are they? No. They're, 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 they're given a the recipe. The ingredients and the recipe, yeah. and that's it. They've mm. got to come up with it to, to show it in mm. its best light. And I think Anthony did that very well yeah. yesterday. He did. He made, he made the dish colourful. He made the dish look appealing. Mm. Um, and that's... People do eat with their eyes, you know, and that's the first thing you have to get over, you can't have an ugly looking plate, mm. can you? You can't have it just piled massively high, yeah, full of it. everything, because it just doesn't appeal. You almost switch off straight away. Mm. So it's very much about that chef's opinion of food. And cooking is all about opinions, I keep saying it. It's mm. all about opinions. My opinion is not right, your opinion is not right. It's about how that chef interprets what he believes mm. and, how, and cooking from the heart. Big believer in cook from the heart. Mm. I'm not so good at um, fish and things like that, so it definitely worries me that I'm not going to have enough time to get it all done. Just like Anthony did, Sarah is cooking the Black Horse Little Wheaton Sea Bass with Autumn Ratatouille dish. So what has she chosen to go with it? Yeah, I'm doing um, a deconstructed lemon cheesecake with a mixed berry coulis. Um, I thought it would go quite well with the fish dish because lemon's quite a delicate flavour. So, Anne, thank you for joining us again on Reality Bites. So, Anthony had a good cooking demo yesterday. He did, he had, he had a really good day. Um, some nice plates of food came out of the kitchen. Yeah, we did, he, he did a good job, and I think you know, he had a bit of a wobble with his panna cotta. Yeah, he did. Um, I think he'd expect to have a blast chiller because yeah. the, the, when he practised it, he did have that available to him. But, but that's the great thing about the show is that they're being taken out of a college environment into industry yeah. and actually they've got to adapt. You know, so these skills are very, very important for them to move forward and actually make a chefing career actually, you know, and it's lessons learned and they're only going to become better. Oh yeah, without a doubt. Um, you know, we're really lucky we've got fantastic kitchens with um, all sort of new state-of-the-art equipment in yeah. so they're having a fantastic experience in the college and coming to a smaller restaurant does make a big difference. It? And it's important for them to have that as well and, and understand what industry is and how that industry impacts what they have and how menus then impacted on the equipment people have yeah. in restaurants as well. So, you know, like you have all the mod cons, that's always not going to be the case when you go out into industry. No, it's not. And... Um, Anthony works in a restaurant as well, because mm. he's at college, so he is used to working yeah. in these conditions as well. Yeah, yeah and it's, it's, we have to remember these are just, these are third year students, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're coming into an alien environment, given a recipe to try and match what the chef who's got 20 years experience, mm -hmm. for example, Wendy. So it's very difficult for them to visualise 
and put onto that plate just from a recipe. It is, yeah, and they'll have their own take on it. It won't come out exactly how Wendy would do it, it'll come out slightly differently, mm. but it's, it's how they envision, envisage it. Time to catch up with Sarah as she finishes her prep, ready to start cooking. Uh, no, I've never done a competition or anything like that before, um, so I'm pretty nervous. <laughs> yeah, it does worry me because there's so much to do, like there's so many components to the dishes. Um, it's just a lot to think about all at once. Okay, chef, how are we getting on? All right, um, yeah? I think I've got all of my prep done, so. Ready to rock and roll, ready to start you on this hour's yep. worth of cooking? Yeah, I think so. Going to produce it in an hour? Yep. Confident? Yep. <laughs> Good, that's what we like. Looking forward to trying this deconstructed lemon cheesecake of yours. Thank you. Good. Good luck, chef, and we'll, uh, I'll come back and give you your countdown in half an hour, all right? Thank you. so annoyed at myself if I don't do it right. I think I'm quietly angry. <laughs> I look calm but <laughs> inside I'm like ah. Reality Bites, proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Reality Bites, Proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods. Okay, Chef. How are we getting on? Um, I think I'm getting on okay. I just yeah. need to get a move on. You need to get a move on? Yeah. That's never a good sign. <laughs> So, purees are obviously all on. Yeah. Uh, struggling with the kitchen, are you okay? Uh, I'm struggling with the amount of hobs. Right, okay. I need more hobs, that's need why more I'm hobs. behind. But Your dessert coming along? Uh, yes, in the fridge setting, so I'm just making the coulis for it now. Good. Right, so you've got 30 minutes you got left. Okay. Be on time? I should be all right then. Yeah? Yeah. Confident? Yeah. Good, that's what we like, confident chefs. Okay, chef, coming to the there. last part of uh, your last five minutes. Are we just, on time? Yeah. Just got to do a cook mass uh, sea bass. Yep. And then I'm done and plate up. And then we're ready to rock and roll, are we? Yep. You seem quite calm. <laughs> I'm not on the inside. Yeah, you're not, not on the inside. You're crying, really, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Right, so five minutes, start plating and then we'll, uh, yep. we'll try your food. Looking forward to it. You've got two minutes. Finishing touches on. Nice. Well done, chef. Well done. Ah, here we are. Amazing. Beautiful, that Thank looks. I think you've done a grand job with that. Yeah. I'm really happy with it. So. You are, yeah? <laughs> yes. So, just talk us through your dessert. Um, so it's a deconstructed lemon cheesecake with a uh, like a mixed berry cream, um, a mixed berry coulis on the plate, and uh, some candied lemon peel on top. And you think this is going to accompany this dish? 
the signature dish uh, because yeah because it lemon's quite a delicate flavor and it complements mm. the fish really well so good looks spectacular yeah. thank great thank, thank you very much thank you well i've got to say wow yeah. mm. The I'm just in here smiling. Mm. Have you not noticed everyone smiled? Into the middle. <laughs> Have you not noticed everybody smiled as yeah. soon as it's come down? What a bit, yeah. What, what a plate of food. Mm. What a plate mm. of food. We've got two black carrots now. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got to say, she was very calm in there as well. And yeah, and she was super organised. Right. Super organised in there. She had everything. And is that the key? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. Know where all your equipment, ingredients mm. are. Mm. Yeah. Get she had everything yeah. lined up, right. ready, right. to then place onto the plate, which is a skill in itself, anyway, because yeah. yeah, yeah. that that takes well, we were training. About you were saying you yeah. Eat with your eyes, don't yeah. You? yeah. Completely. Yeah. I think she's done. I think that to me that looks a good plate of food. So compared to yesterday's dish, yeah. how it looked, your yeah. dish mm. to this, what's what's your thought? Like no. Um, I, uh, nice to see the uh, the uh, mash. You've got mm. the mash. The you've got the mash. Which was we can see last it. Time. We can see it, can't we? Right. We know that we've got it there. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Smooth. That's, that's nice. Yeah. 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 All right. That's how How's the Jacob? That that's what I'm digging in for. Skin's not crispy. No, it's not crispy. Mm. Yeah. Skin's not crispy. She, what I did know, she didn't. She didn't push the skin down to yeah. contact. Nice colour on the other. Mm. I'll just turn that over. Mm. Yeah, one side. Yeah. She's slightly, she's mouth, yeah. Yeah, she's, yeah, skin's not... How's it's the fish? Um, it looks nice and soft, then. Mm. It is. Mm. Softer than the other one. Yeah, I'd yeah. agree. Isn't it? Fish is cooked better as well. Yeah. And more seasoned, the fish. Mash is very smooth. Mm. Mm. Very smooth. Yeah, nice, yeah, yeah. So that's really nice. In fact, these pure carrot pures, a little bit of yeah, a so same. There's more of that on the last yeah. one, isn't it? I'm going to have a bit more of a heritage carrot because I could quite like that. It's not grainy, it's smooth. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, that was the thing, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Chorizo, how's that? It's, it's cut it's smaller. Okay. I think she's pretty. It, mm. it feels it's like. A bit it. softer. Yeah. yeah. If you've got that plate of food, I'd be happy to pay for it. I wish the skin was crispy, but mm. the fish is mm. really nicely cooked. Very nice. Mm. Very nice. That worked very well for me. Mm. So what we need to be doing is, so we're saying that she's done candy zest. He had... Spun sugar. Spun sugar. Yeah. Um, what, what, did, what did Cornell say? That's a, a mixed berry. Yeah. Mixed berry cream, I think. So with a mixed berry... Yeah. Coolie. Coolie. Coolie as well. And what that, that looks a bit dangerous. That's the... Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's... Probably a little bit much, I think, there. Mm. How's the lemon cheesecake? Good. The base is lovely. Mm. The lemon cheesecake is lovely and sharp. Mm. Smooth. I'm going to ask it a spoon. It's, it's one of those. The base is, is firm and yet the mm. crumbles really nice. Mm. It looks a bit dangerous. <laughs> mm. And that does exactly what it should yeah. do. It's that wonderful lemon mm. zest that's coming through. The zinc. Oh, I like this a lot. It's got zinc. I'm not gonna You're going to finish it. We need yeah, to be yeah. careful. I'm, uh, I'm this. getting. Share that one. <laughs> you do see that this happens sometimes, don't you? It's um, it's light. It's fruity. Mm. Even with the candy zest, you taste candy zest. Mm. It's almost caramel as well. It's really good. But yeah, just try try that. It's mm. completely. It's lemon, but not. It's like a, it's like a poor scratch into mm. pudding. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's all way by there. Mm. <laughs> mm. I think, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, I really like that dish. Yeah, I do. Really like that dish. Okay, so there has to be a winner. And you two have done fantastically well. Okay, so the two judges, Blair and Wendy, are going to give you some feedback on what they think positive and negative okay uh, it, the sea bus it was interesting to uh, to see your take on on my picture what's in my head but they were both presented really nicely um i liked um on, on your dish that you could see the uh, you could see everything 
that you'd sort of spaced it all around. We could we could see the beetroot and we could see the artichoke mash. Where that I found it a bit troubling. We couldn't see much or didn't couldn't find any artichoke mash on yours. So it was a bit. Sea bass is one of my favourite dishes. It's, I, I love fish anyway. Sea bass is one of my favourite fishes. Uh, both very tasty. Both looked really good. Anthony loved the fact that uh, whilst it wasn't uniform, you had some crispness to the skin. Um, I felt that the sea bass was a little bit overcooked for, for me. Um, and uh, Sarah, yours cooked really nicely, but at the expense of the crispy skin. So there, there, were, you know, there, were, there were pros and cons to both of them, I think. Yeah. In terms of the desserts, uh, I mean, you know, what can you say about chocolate panna cotta and then deconstructed lemon cheesecake that, that is going to be anything other than, oh, it was really nice. <laughs> you know, they were really lovely things, but when you, you know, your thoughts but, yeah, first. The, um, the chocolate, uh, the, the taste of the chocolate was absolutely lovely and the orange came through great, but it was just a bit too bitty with the, the orange could have, could have been a bit finer yeah. uh, or, or blanched, so it was a bit softer. It, it did tend to sort of get into a bit. Lemon cheesecake, mm, lovely, <laughs> sharp, but 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 kind of a bit soft. That um, it wasn't too bitter. Although you wanted something sharp after you just it had the heat of the, the chorizo on the sea bass. In my view, if you can have a cheesecake, have a cheesecake. And when you said you were doing deconstructed, I kind of rolled my eyes mentally and <laughs> thought, okay, here we go. It's another novelty thing. But you mm. did. You'd made it separately, obviously. But then you'd put some of it back together again. Uh, and Anthony, I really felt for you, mate, because the panna cotta, it, it looked wonderful. Yeah. Just if you'd had a few more minutes in the freezer, yeah. it would have been great. Yeah. I mean, we discussed, or it was your suggestion, yeah. wasn't it? Maybe putting it into a glass. Then you wouldn't, have had, to de you wouldn't have had to demould it, and it yeah. wouldn't have, we yeah. would have never known it wouldn't have been set. Yeah. You've both done incredibly well, and actually you should be really proud of yourself. So someone does have to win, because it's a competition, um, and somebody does have to go through to the semi-finals. Okay, so the person going through to the semi-final is Sarah. Well done. Well done. Thank you. How, how do you feel? How do you feel? All right. Uh, glad. <laughs> yeah. I was a bit worried that I wouldn't, but yeah. In what way was you just? Did you? I don't know. Just because I'm, I've never done a competition before. So. Okay. This is great experience for you, though. Yeah. It? It's great experience. <laughs> yeah. And Anthony, be proud of what you've done. Don't think of it. You need to come back and keep doing this because the more you do it, the better you become at it. And like young chefs like you, I know you work in the industry as well, so it's really important to continue them. Okay. But yeah, well done, guys. All right, you've done incredible job. Very well done, and thank you. Yeah. They were really good. Mm -hmm. Absolute fantastic day here at the Black Horse. We've just had two students from Scarborough Tech. Sarah's just got through, beating Anthony, so she's going through to the semi-finals. So tune in next week where the last heat is at Nala in Cleethorpes. We've got a decision to make. Bites, proudly sponsored by S. Clift Foods.